Hi everyone, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Um, we've got our covers matted, our inside matted. We've got a couple pockets here, and we've got the pages sewn in. So now we've got all this beautiful ephemera to add to this journal. So uh, <laughs> I used my scan and cut uh, for this and it cut out maybe a half of the ephemera but because um, some of the designs are so detailed uh, it just wants to cut uh, it cut out about half of these fussy cuts, but it didn't cut them all. It wants to cut inside, and uh, yeah. But anyway, I don't, I don't care. It saved me some time, so I'll go with it. Um, the first thing I want to do is take care of these flaps, okay? So, um, normally what I might do is just use a paper clip. And that's what we're going to do today. Um, all I'm going to do is make a little lark's head knot in this piece of seam binding. Stick the folded side through the hole or the loop. Okay. And then pull this, uh, the other tails through. And that makes what they call a lark's head knot. You'll know it because it has the little the little V on top. And I want to pull that tight. And these are way too long. I probably could have used one of these. In fact, let me let me do that again if I can get it undone. I'm hoping to get my nails done on Wednesday. So oh for heaven's sake. I'm going to have to use the other little pin. There we go. To get it out. I tightened it a little too tight. Come on, guys. You know what? Let's start with this other piece. <laughs> I've got plenty of paper clips. I'll do that off camera. So now I've got a smaller piece. I'm just going to fold that in half. Now this is just um, some white seam binding that I, <clears throat> let's see, I dyed this with, uh, excuse me, <coughs> goodness, I dyed this with some gathered twigs, no, not, is it gathered? Yeah, gathered twigs and um, vintage photo um, what do you call it? Oxide. That's why it's got a really grungy appearance. So just tuck that through and pull it and that's a much better, uh, much better. There we go. Okay, so I will use that on here. Get me another paper clip and do the same thing. You can see it turned out really cool because the, the oxide, it, you know, is water reactive. So because I wet the ribbon ahead of time, I get this um, variation in color, which looks really grungy, and I love it. Okay, so fold that in half, put that through the single side, and get that loop open, and pull the tails through and you will not be as fiddly as I am. <laughs> okay, there we go. Get that on there nice. And then I will have that one for this side. And I'll probably put this one toward the bottom so that when it's closed you have a, a couple of uh, paper clips. And you don't have to use them there. If you don't want them, if it doesn't bother you, um, you can put them anywhere in the journal. I'm just going to put them there for now. And let's move on. So, um, on my list of things to include in a journal, and now this is in my Facebook group. It's a free download. Um, and if you, if you join my Facebook group, I will ask you three questions. You must answer all three questions to be admitted. The reason for that is to keep the spam out. I have had people try to get into my group that say they saw me make the bread. 
I didn't make any bread, people. Um, <laughs> but it's, those are people that are just looking to hack into your group uh, and or or they just don't understand what we're all about. So uh, answer the three questions for me. I will let you in as soon as possible. I don't check uh, at least once a day. I'll check. Um, but this is in the file section. You'll find a file section. There's a lot of freebies in there. And um, it's, I believe, four or six to a page. I'm not sure. I think it's four to a page. And this is just everything, kind of a reminder list for me as a jumping off point for my journals. Um, so it'll have front and back cover pocket. Okay, we've got that. Check. Um, decorative envelope. Okay. I don't need that at the moment. Um, did we put a, an envelope in here? We did not. Okay, so we may want to add an envelope. Uh, left and right corner flips, side tucks, pockets, uh, vertical and horizontal belly band, clips. Okay, we could check. Uh, things for flip overs, clusters, large tags, medium tags, small tags. I don't need all of this in one journal. I, I mean, I, I might, and I may add more, and if I think of something that I want to try that's new, um, I've left some blanks down here for me writing notes, and, but this is just a jumping off place, things that I'm, oh yeah, I want to put that in there, so that is, is what I'm using uh, as a jumping off point, so I'm going to skip the envelope for now, but let's do the left and right corner flip, because in this um, collection, we have left and right corner flip. Now, I'm going to use my scoreboard, but you don't have to. You could just wing it if you want. Um, let's see, how can I do this? You know what, I'm just going to line it up on here. The reason that I drew these purple lines every inch is because when I was lining it up here, if this is slightly off, you may not end up where you want down here. So, if I have the lines, I know that I'm lined up. So I'm just going to do it like that. Okay, and what do I do with the other one? There it is. I'm sticking the pointy part in the little uh, divot. Is it a divot? The indentation. Um... Now, you don't have to use these little side pieces. They allow for more to be uh, in your pockets. Um, but sometimes I just cut them off and attach the pocket to the page. So, now I want to ink this up. Now, I just reloaded my ink pad, so this is probably a little bit wet. That's okay. One... There, okay. So where do we want to put these? I have a tendency because usually, um, or a lot of the times, the back of these designer pages I will leave white because I like the contrast between the white and the coffee dyed and uh, like so. But I'm going to put these on the back of the designer pages. I'm going to get my glue here. Now you, you can see there's a little tear here. I'm going to take a piece of micropore, if I can get it off. Just a little piece, doesn't have to be big, just to reinforce that so it doesn't, where is it, right there, just so it doesn't tear anymore, and I don't even need that big of a piece. I just need a piece big enough to go right there, just to keep it at bay. Okay. Now fold those back. If you use your bone folder, you're going to get a nice flat pocket. And make sure I have the right one going the right way. There are lines. I don't know if you can see those. They're very subtle. So I hope everyone had a good weekend. It was nice to have hot water. We finally got our water heater fixed. <clears throat> I don't even remember where the last time I talked to you guys about my water heater. 
but while I do that I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to this other pocket and uh, and then I'll get, we'll do a tag for it um, but anyway does this one have a tear no this one's good um, we noticed uh, first week of February or first week of January right after Christmas we noticed there was a small drip um, on the water heater and I called the, the home warranty because we have the home warranty you know might as well use it I've used it quite a bit this year actually um, you know you pay for years and years and years and then everything falls apart at one time uh, anyway, um, they assigned us a company right away. Um, the company did not come out on their scheduled day. They didn't show up. They had a bunch of people with sickness. And so I had called them the, the day after they didn't show up and they had scheduled an appointment for Friday. So Friday comes, they don't show up. I scheduled three to six, so I called the home warranty company, told them what happened. They assigned a new company, which, by the way, within five minutes, I had an appointment for them. Um, but anyway, the um, then after I got reassigned, then the plumber calls from the original company, um, four and a half hours after his time and says, I'm supposed to come out to fix your um, your water heater, and it, I'll keep this call open for a half an hour. So I called him back five minutes later. He did not answer the phone. And so I don't recommend that company at all. Anyway, the new company could not come out because, you know, there again, there is a shortage of, of workers, but they came out the following. So, so the original appointment was on Monday. The second original company appointment was on Friday. Now we have to wait over the weekend and the next company can't come out till Wednesday. However, in between the previous Wednesday when the when the first company didn't show, my water heater blew and flooded and my daughter and I were out there trying to turn it off and huge mess, flooded my laundry room. Luckily it did not get into my pantry. Um, but it did get into the broom closet, but that, that dried relatively quickly, but yeah, just a mess. But the new company came out on Wednesday at their designated time and they said, nope, has to be replaced. Um, uh, might take three to five days. So we're thinking, oh, it's another weekend. They were approved that day. They came out the next day to install the water heater. Bam, 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 done. And I had hot water. So I was so excited. <clears throat> All right. What, what do we want? next I don't know it just it seemed I think I want to take some of these these little guys that I have here where do we got we have another little guy yeah and put on some of this maybe because I have this here maybe I'll stick this up here but I do want to ink this a little bit um anyway it's nice to have the hot water again my sister was gracious to let us go over to her house and use her towels even because we couldn't do laundry couldn't do anything um, couldn't use the dishwasher. It was kind of a pain. And uh, anyway, so that's rectified. And the guy came out for the heater again, and nothing they can do about the heater. It's just limping along. Some days it's super hot in here, and it's you know it, it's like it goes five under, five over. But what are you gonna do? Then my daughter's car still not fixed. Her uh, engine light keeps coming on, and she's trying to get it smogged for renewing the tabs. So bless her heart. She she goes in twice already. It just seems like it's been one thing after another. She's gone in twice already, and they made an appointment for Friday um, to get, or for Saturday. So I, I took her up there three times last week. Finally, they said we have to order the part. You know, it's the, the last piece of the EVAP system. She'll have completely replaced all three parts. Almost a $1,000 worth of work on her car now. Uh, had to order the part, so we took it down there Saturday because that's when the guy was there that worked on that part of the car, and the part didn't come in. So go pick up the car. <laughs> so now she can't get it done till Thursday, so we're running out of time for her to get smogged and get all that done. But... 
it'll get done. This too shall pass. Okay, let's do, we have all these journal cards. So I want to make some, some more pockets here. So I think we've got, <coughs> excuse me, we've got some of these pockets. So let's go ahead and score these. Just trying to show you that you do not have to have a bunch of stuff to make a beautiful journal. Uh, so many designers um, make gorgeous designs and do all the hard part for you. And all you have to do is put it together. So if you're feeling crafty but you don't want to get a huge stash going, this is a great option. And uh, this collection that I'm using is Old Time Rose Journal Kit by Happiness and Crafting by G. Kerr. This is my design team project for January. <clears throat> and if you remember correctly, we talked about in January, just kind of going back to basics. Um, any of these journals that we are making, you can take up a notch or two or three by just adding fabric or lace or uh, decorative trim or yarn or fibers or buttons or <laughs> you name it. Um, the options are limitless. So you decide how much or how little you want to do. In the beginning, I was a very streamlined um, paper crafter. I'm going to say paper crafter because I started out with uh, scrapbooking about 25 years ago. Um, then I went digital scrapbooking and I, I <clears throat> wanted to make something for a 25th anniversary cruise that we went on. And actually that's the first video on this channel if you want to see that. Um, so I was real nervous when I videotaped that. That was funny. Um, but my husband and I went on a a cruise to Alaska, once in a lifetime kind of thing, and um, I wanted something special to commemorate it. So I had uh, purchased a collection from Kathy um, over at the Paper Phenomenon. It was a little box suitcase and uh, made a little album, and I love how that came out. So you guys will have to check that out. I can leave the link below you're interested in seeing that just don't make fun of me for, <laughs> for the, the video oh my gosh I used to get so scared when I would turn on the camera it's like I would freeze I don't know why because it's not like it instantly published I don't know how people go live I don't know if I could do it um, I was really self-conscious over the zoom time period of the last couple of years. I'm not crazy. My computer didn't really like Zoom anyway. We ended up using Facebook Rooms, which was a little bit better, but not perfect. So, okay, so let's go to the next page and we'll put this one of these pockets here. And like I said, you wanna kick this up, put a piece of lace across the bottom or some bling or something of that nature. My glue is a little on the sticky side, as you can see, probably need to... I added a little bit of acetone, but I'll be honest with you, I don't know how much acetone to add, let alone how to mix it, because when I added the acetone and then I put my finger over the top, it came all, it all just came out. <laughs> I'm going to put this in the middle of the page, leave about, excuse me, maybe a half an inch. All right, and when you see me do this, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of putting the bone folder under that whole uh, stack so that I can do the same thing on the other side. Nothing too complicated. Here. 
And we'll come back and put a tag in that. Um, okay, so the next one is this tan page. I think I'll put one of these ovals here. Let's do... Um, let's do that. And I think I'm going to make it a tuck spot. And what else have I got here? I think I'll use this on the other side. I'm going to go ahead and ink this. So I'm going to put the glue in a, go around the edge and just go halfway up. And that will give us a little, little bit of a tuck. But if you don't want to use it as a tuck, it doesn't have to be. You could just write on this page and not worry about that. Totally ignore it. All right, we're going to go under again. I need my other... Uh, bone folder. This one's a little thicker. All right, that way we'll do this page. Go ahead and ink this. And I'm not going to do anything fancy. Uh, I'm just going to put the tags and journal cards in the way they are. The only thing that I have really added to this journal um, in the way of embellishing extra than the, than the collection comes with is the ink and um, that works works for me. Next month I had thought of a, an interesting idea. I hope you guys will think it's interesting. Um, but I want to do, because February is kind of an irregular month, everybody's doing love because it's Valentine's Day, February love, um, heart association, everything's red. Uh, but I want to do irregular journals. Um, because it's an irregular month, <laughs> and and if you can find another word that's irregular, um, how about unique? Maybe unique, or if you think of another word, put it in the description, or not in the description, don't put it in the description box, put it in the comments. Uh, another word that I can think of, I want unique, uh, out of the ordinary, irregular uh, type journals that we're going to be working on, and I found some that I think you're going to love, so... All right, let's go to another page. This one has another one of these, so we'll put we'll put the circle. Um, I think it goes that way. I've got two of these, and I'm just gonna go through and add the ephemera where I think it fits. Um, nothing nothing fancy or difficult here. I'm not gonna do the whole book with you today because. Um, you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going through using the ephemera I have. I'm not making a tuck out of this, but you could do the top half. Yeah, let's do that. We'll do the top half. That way, if you want it as a tuck, you can use it as a tuck. Now, for some reason, my images are not circle. I did something, uh, I messed these up, and they kind of came out oval. And I, I, I think it's when I did the borderless. So, but these are round on the design, so. But I'm going to use them because I'm not going to waste them. So, all right. Let's see. We'll do this one the same. I already inked that, and it goes that way. So just the top half. And there. Just so there's something on every page. That's all I'm going to do. Um, let's do this page, and I'm going to do an another little tuck spot. I'm going to use these larger ones. And let's see. What did I use on that? Yeah, I don't want to use the same image. So um, There again, these should be round, but because of when I print them out, I did something, uh, I don't know didn't do it correctly, but I'm going to glue it just on this side and this side. So side and bottom. And that way we can put larger things in those pockets if we want. Just like that. And then we'll go to the other page and do the same. Okay, now 
that one needs to be on that side. So I want to do the top and the side. Flip it this way. So now we've got a tuck spot there. For something large, I could put writing paper there. I think I've got a couple of pages left somewhere. Um, not sure where I put the rest. Oh, here it is. Is this it? Yeah, let's see what I've got. Yeah, I've got some of the stuff that I cut out. I've got some writing pages here and some extra pages. So that's probably what I will tuck in those spots. And the tissue paper I'm going to leave and I'm going to go to this and oh, hold that thought. Okay, stop the video and it's the wrong number. I'm going to leave this one blank and go here. Go ahead and do a couple more pockets. And then I think what I'm going to do is finish up off camera and we'll come back and do a flip through. Um, I have one more journal for this month I'd like to get in, um, which is a paper bag journal. Those are my favorite. It's a mini. You can make a ton of them for gifts, um, for sticking in your wallet, for having all over the place. Just fun, fun, fun. So um, I think that will be our next project, and I'll probably start on that tomorrow. Um, and... I hope you guys will enjoy that. If there's something that you would like me to do um, or to try that you've seen and, um, you know, I'm happy to take requests if you got, oh, wait, that doesn't go there, it goes here. Do I want to, well, it's on the side now. Let's see, did I put that one in the middle? Okay, it's on the side. <laughs> it's on the side can't talk and do and I, I want where's my rubber eraser I have one of those little gummy erasers uh oh and I don't know where it is so I think I can catch it without making too much yeah I'll rub off if you can catch it before it dries too much you usually can rub it off like rubber cement um, there we go okay so I will be back um, and we'll do a flip through. I'm not sure I'll get it done today, but I'm going to try. Uh, if not, I will hopefully get it up tomorrow afternoon for you. I'm just going to go ahead and keep sticking stuff in, then I'll show you what I got. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.